What's up, memesters? What's I'm happening here with with meme meme Gene Odermatt? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a SNL skit or something. I don't know. That, that sounded <laughs> that's a really really weird. Like my first podcast ever. I am joined today by <laughs> Mean Gene the Memer. <laughs> they call him the queen of memes uh yeah what's up dude long time oh, to say <laughs> yeah yeah I, I wanted before we get into talking about memes i wanted to get your thoughts on this uh i don't know if you've seen the andrew tate stuff that he was arrested in romania uh, yeah i i did see that i mean that escalated quickly you know it's funny it was one of those things where like it went from Greta Thunberg uh, owns some dickhead with cars. I'm like, it was like I, at the top of my Google or whatever or something. I was like, who fucking cares? Who cares? <laughs> and then he responds to her, and it's like, and then <laughs> then gets arrested for human trafficking, right? Its whole thing is, I I don't know what the heck's going on. I mean, the, I, I'm not a big Andrew Tate fan. Like just his his style, his delivery. I, I've um, never heard of him before. I had no idea who he was. Really. Yeah, that's that's surprising um, that you haven't heard of him because he's been pretty much like at least well he was banned from Twitter for a while and then when Musk let Trump back I think the same day Trump came back on or you know Trump hasn't tweeted but his account was activated I think he let Andrew Tate back on and essentially he's a uh, I don't know how to wrap him up in a few sentences he is you know very much good things about him he's for you know masculinity you know for men standing up for themselves and that stuff bad things about him he is you know sort of uh he does have a history of abuse towards women allegedly there's Mm -hmm. been some videos out there of him slapping women around not good Mm -hmm. but he claims it's consensual so who really knows what the the backstory is they wanted to be Um, slapped they go they love a good slapping (laughs) <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But the other thing is, so he has this like membership site, which Rem- Remzo's a member, <clears throat> at least he was. He, I've seen him post it before, a link to it, where really, like people can learn how, you know, about starting businesses and crypto trading mm-hmm. and all this different stuff. Massive membership site. Where I've heard he makes up to $7 million a month on it. Jesus what doesn't make any sense, <clears throat> what doesn't make any sense to me, <clears throat> excuse me, is a guy who's making that much money and he's other business ventures. He was a, um, kickboxing fighter um, mm. in the past. All of a sudden, he's going to start like a, a cam girl site and detain like three or four women. Doesn't make any mm, sense at all. So no. this looks this <laughs> looks like a uh, uh, WikiLeaks. Uh, what's his face? Julian Assange type uh, like type setup. setup. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, they definitely could be because yeah, that is really odd. Then again, I don't know. I don't put things past like when people get very rich and think that they're untouchable. They can do very stupid things sometimes. So there's always that aspect too, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's very odd. I I I'm surprised I haven't heard of him. I would say, yeah. like I tweeted out, if uh, if it is true that he was human trafficking, then this is the first tangible improvement to the world that Greta Thunberg has ever been involved with. That's true. <laughs> Get, that's a, getting him that's arrested. a good take. Yeah, you Otherwise, should actually make that the uh, the. Uh, title maybe of this podcast what i was going to say for your next uh mean age daydream that'd be a good good title yeah well we could do it for this one why not <laughs> i'll make it the title um so you got some good memes today i got at least nope. two i can't find my third <laughs> um i'll show you my my first one here my third one isn't uh, even a meme it's just it an insane why is it show- oh, video show my full screen Get it on. Is it That's weird. It's, I, it's only coming through as a, a white block, like a blank white box is all I'm seeing. There you go. Now it's coming up. You can, can you see it now? I can see it on the screen now. Yeah. It's, you'll have to read it to me. It's too small to read, but I can I can see it on the... Okay. Uh, well, it says... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, now I can see know, it. So now I got it. It's it's a you know a sectional mean. You got three sections. Um, at the top, you got like a an ANCAP blob talking to a... Uh, you know, an end cap like circle face with the eyes with the yellow and the, you know, half yellow, half black. And then, uh, you know, uh, all black um, uh, face with a uh, communist um, uh, hammer and sickle there. And the end cap says, what you got going on here? And the communist says, just put in some uh, new gender transmission fluid. And he's got a uh, looks like a Toyota, um, Toyota Camry, red Toyota Camry there. 
And Cap guy looks at it real confused. Communist guy goes, booms, now I drive a Ferrari. And the label changes to a Ferrari on the front of the car. And Cap says, you do realize that's still a Toyota Camry engine under the hood, right? Communist says, shut up. It's a trans ma'am sports car. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's good. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I've seen better. And in fact, I'll share better. Since I have brought the thunder. All mine are from Instagram. This, uh, this oh, man. You got the same one as me. I had this uh, one too. Oh, really? <laughs> Is yeah. it the, the Waffle House chair? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, that, it's so crazy. Let me play the video. Is it, oh, this one doesn't have the sound on it. Uh, it's fucking. Oh, here you go. This, this dude whips a chair at this Waffle House employee, like a white chick, who actually looks like she might be kind of cute, and she catches the chair one fucking hand and whips it. it to the ground. Uh, insane! I mean, this chick is like, she's a goddamn magic man. I don't even know how. Does she yeah, practice sleight of hand? Is she. I mean, did people throw daggers at her? It's like, you know, it reminds me of the scene in Big Trouble in Little China. You ever seen that amazing film with Kurt Russell? Oh, of course. Oh, so good. Where, he, you know, he catches the knife and then he flings it back at the guy. And he's like, it's all in the reflexes. This chick is Jack Burton. She is the Waffle House Jack Burton. She's amazing. <laughs> so so the meme part of it that I think you had pulled up before... Or, or maybe was was I, was I sharing my no I, I was okay I must have been changed my sharing when you were still showing that so I'll did show the just, meme associated you boomer, with that. Did you just boomer it up and not realize that you were sharing your own? Apparently, meme I did. Thought it was uh, it's, <laughs> I'm still sharing. I guess the screen share continues now. Do they change that? So I just uh, add it. It's actually kind I of guess. convenient. That is so funny. this is a shot of the same chick before the chair is thrown. And you can see the guy in the foreground about to throw the chair and the chick in the yeah. back. And she has her hands up basically saying, come on, yeah, bring, bring it. it on. <laughs> and uh, this is from our friend Dan Smots of the System is Down podcast. And he says, this was the moment they both realized <laughs> that Waffle House employees have nothing left to lose. <laughs> so funny. I want to see Classic. what led to this. I haven't seen like the full video. Like what what led to this point? What, was it, what did leads they run to out every Waffle syrup? House fight? I mean, that's... No. That'd be Drunk, a good coffee table book, race Waffle tension. House <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so funny. Um, all right, let me see. I got another one here. I'll share my next meme, which is this one. Uh, I Punk Rock Libertarian is one of many that shared this, but I just think it was so funny. I see this, this meme a lot. <laughs> Grandpa Simpson sitting on a stump. And uh, all this, all the kids, Bart and Millhouse and uh, Martin are all sitting around him. And he says, back in my day, people died non-suddenly. <laughs> people died slowly. Like you're supposed to die. <laughs> so funny. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Wait, what, what's your take on this whole died suddenly thing? I mean... I, 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 it's kind of like I you know, agree with it. It's fucking I, well. I mean, not 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 only that. Like, I mean, yes, I do think the vaccines are causing some of this stuff. But the thing that that I don't like the aspect of it, like every single time, like anybody you know has a heart attack or dies, right? Like Fr- Franco Harris, for example, seventy two years old. Everyone's like, oh, how many vacations did he have? You know, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe he did have all his vacations. Maybe he got his booster vacations too. But I mean, people. I remember when I was a little kid. Like there was like like one of my friends' dad had a heart attack at like forty two. Like people. Like this isn't something that's that's new. I mean, it's happened yeah, for I mean, for a our long buddy time. Gavin, right? remember Gavin? He died. Uh, yeah, just in his sleep. At yeah, you know, he was like not even forty. Just died yeah. suddenly. So yeah, I mean, it definitely still happens. But there are. I mean, without a doubt, it's way more than there should be, and way more young people. That's really the thing. Mm-hmm. The thing that stands out to me is it's way more young people. Once you get that going, like, you know, we were talking about uh, John Ziegler. John Ziegler! And uh, he was talking we about We love that. you, John. Like, Honestly, uh, I do at least. Brian might uh, hate no, you. I, I love fan. John. No, I love John. It's just so funny. <laughs> the way he talks is like, it just cracks me up. When he gets all amped up and his voice just hits his, hits this pitch that can shatter glass. So, uh, but no, he was talking about too. You know, like how there's these, you know, blood clotting. And you know, like, the, the, it's just... It's one of those things where when kids are dying at this rate that are young and it does, hasn't happened before, you go, can somebody look into it? Can we talk about this a little bit more mm-hmm. without it being censored out the wazoo? And uh, yeah, it's just crazy, man. So I think it's definitely Yeah, on his podcast, 
in his recent podcast, he was talking about a real rich lady who like like sixty one year old, you know, really rich connected lady, I think from like Connecticut or something, who was connected to some politician, I forget who. And uh she died like hours after getting um yeah. you know, her booster um vacation. Oh yeah. And man. uh so they this, this family has a bunch of money, so they did the autopsy, everything, and they got it on her death certificate that it was caused by the vaccine. So Yeah, there you go. Good. Good on them. Well, I think I told you back in the day when the vaccines were first, or the vacations were first rolling out, <laughs> uh, my cousin had to go to the hospital because she got the shot and it made her, uh, I'm trying to think exactly what it did to her. It wasn't like a palsy thing like some people were getting, mm-hmm. but it was, or a, or a bar disease thing, but it was something like she had such a horrible reaction to it. She had to go to the hospital like immediately for a few days. So yeah, scary stuff. I don't have another meme, but I will share this, which I just just saw, which I think is hilarious. Right. Probably warranted. better not be the meme that I have. No, it's uh, just saying that apparently the oh, Liver King. The- <laughs> you know who the Liver King yeah. is? Yeah, he's that jerk off that pretended he was uh, all natural and was actually all roided out of his gourd. Yeah, I mean everybody knew he was roided it's, out of his mind. Yeah, it's very clear by looking at him. <laughs> But he's he's being sued, I assume, by a bunch of people who have bought his supplements, being sued for twenty five million. Which honestly, I think there's probably a lawsuit there. I mean, that's yeah, it's definitely committing fraud. Of course, though, I mean, a lot of times when you're selling these things, I mean, you're saying in the small print, like you know, use or whatever, do not expect the same results that, that yeah. I get or whatever. So he probably has those clauses and everything he does. So so maybe there is nothing there, but. uh I don't know. It was one of those things like was the most amazing part was that the guy could just lie when it was so yeah. obvious he was taking steroids. And oh, totally. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> you know, you talk about like, okay, you can't expect the same results. And I was saying, I was like, yeah, of course. Cause also, you know, like you see those commercials with Frank Thomas walking around and uh, mm-hmm. former baseball player for, it's like new genics or something like that. And he's like, mm-hmm. Hey, and your wife will like it too. I'm like, I don't think Frank knows that my wife's really going to get good dicking after I take these pills. So I think Liver King probably will not not uh, have to pay out. I don't out. think the eugenics <laughs> is going to turn everyone into a large <laughs> six foot seven black man. But, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, here's my here's my last one. Uh, greatly enjoyed this meme. This was uh, again. I I'll give props. To the LP of Palm Beach again dropping the good meme. Second time I've uh, used one of theirs. Santa Claus, and it is Klaus Schwab in a Santa hat, and it's his dour face, and it says, you'll get no present, and you'll be happy. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's really that made into an ornament. Yeah, and I guess this was originally from El Grande Perotris. Uh, yeah, it would be a great ornament. <laughs> Next year, we, we make, are getting. We we're either going to sell like a, a seasonal mug or an ornament, and we're going to start selling it in like October yeah, to get it out for right. sure, dude. I've you know I've been all about the ornament forever, yeah. and uh, I will blame Mark explicitly for not <laughs> us not doing it. He was always anti ornament, but he's not here anymore. To say no. <laughs> so all the ornaments are happening. All right, good memeing. Good memeing, John. Good memeing. Good show. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, as I said, we're going we're gonna to double it up. So for those of you that heard Degenerate Gamblers as well, you can join our Patreon, and you can get Degenerate Gamblers. You can get conspiracy, or, uh, sorry, secrets, lies, and cover-ups. You can get uh, early access to Do Nothing Man, our live interviews, our live streams. Like this one's going out live stream to our Pride group. And so much more discounts on our merchandise, etc. So join at patreon.com forward slash Lions of Liberty. And you can get right now through the first week of January, then it's gone, twice the annual discount. So instead of 7.5% discount on an annual year-long subscription, you can get 15% off. Hot damn! 15%?! Have we lost yeah, our minds? If, <laughs> if, if you sign up, so if, if you have at the $10 a month level... And you sign up for a year at that, you save like 20 bucks. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. $20. $20 in this economy. God. You could buy so many things with it. You could buy, that's like 150,000 uh, golf tees. Think about that. It's a lot of golf tees. I don't know it's why you'll need tees. that many. I buy golf nah. tees like once every 10 years. But yeah. Well, I use it for all sorts of stuff. You know, I stick them up my pee hole. 
make a puppet show well, out of it. You got to keep you know, that also, thing opened up, you know. Gotta, gotta, <laughs> no, I'm trying to plug it. I'm trying to stop the drips. All right. Enjoy your week uh, and goodbye. The only monster here is a gambling monster that has enslaved your mother. I call him Gamblor, and it's time to snatch your mother from his neon claws. Hi. Hello. Rico, you look like you had a lot to say coming into the show today. Uh, oh, you're a today. dick. I mean, you're Why just a, dick a dick all the time. <laughs> because I told you what was going on, and um, the link wasn't opening on my phone because it doesn't work on Brave, the Brave browser. And then I tried to Google Chrome, and it doesn't work on that. So I had to download Safari because I deleted it. I don't use it anymore. So I had to, that's the only browser it works on on my phone. It should work on Chrome. I don't know why. It should, I yeah, it should work on Chrome. It Chrome. should. Chrome told me yeah. you need to download Safari. I'm like, well, that's weird. Oh, what weird. Do you need for that? That's weird. Well, what's funny is yeah. that so what Rico was complaining about is that he texted us that he's trying to get on the show and he can open it. And I told him to restart. I said, restart your phone or unretard your brain. <laughs> that's a dick. A hundred percent of the time. <laughs> it's a lot to ask. Always. Yeah. That's not true. I sent you a, a Halloween card. Right in the trash that thing went. <laughs> I sent your child Christmas presents. Not this year. Yeah, that was but that, in years past. That was that was nice at the time. Yeah. But in years past I sent him gifts. Not Odie's not Odie's kid. He, I don't send you gifts either, either, so that's good. Fair. Nor should you. Um uh, Yeah, I uh <laughs> I want to share something with you guys. That is entertaining. I, as you know, my birthday was last week and uh, Rico, you know, we did the boring podcast and Rico was on it and I was drinking pretty heavy and uh, getting you know, pretty, pretty fucked up and uh, drank a lot of whiskey on that show. And then I went out to the bar to do Christmas karaoke. Now, Christmas karaoke, fantastic. One of my favorite things in the entire world. And uh, was there for quite some time, had many, many drinks bought for me, which led to a video. Ah, what the fuck? Problem playing this video. Hold on. I got to get this, this playing. Ah, come on. I might have to convert this file. I'm trying to play a video file somebody sent me on my phone. And it's a movie file, so I can't upload it to StreamYard. I'm trying to see if I can just open it on the fucking, there we go, video file. Let me try this. It's a video of me singing karaoke, and I will tell you, I didn't, I didn't remember it. Uh, I didn't remember it quite this way. To my recollection, crushing it, absolutely crushing this song. I asked my buddy, I was like, I guess this the backstory is, and this is everybody's god. You can tell the bar's empty at this point. It's like two in the morning. I asked my buddy, I'm like, I'm gonna say one more song. What song do you want to hear? And he goes, Run, Run, Rudolph. I said, You got it. So this is the performance that he it's was a tough karaoke to. song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I barely. I'm just swaying. <laughs> Saying words? No, I don't think I am. <laughs> I want to see it. Uh, that karaoke where it shows you the words that you're supposed to sing. I want to see the karaoke of the words you sang. <laughs> it's like Santa has a radio match to play. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you want to hear the rest? There's two more minutes. <laughs> That's okay. That's, I think we get yeah. the idea. Do you just fall over at the end? I don't know. Let's see where it gets to. Do I just give up? Let me fast forward to the end of the song. Oh, yeah. 
I don't, I don't guys, think they're talking. talking. Not, not even paying attention to you. Am I even? T- am I even talking? I'm trying to give him the mic back. I'm like, here you go. You're welcome. You're welcome for that masterpiece. So, there you go. Kudos <laughs> to you. You didn't get a record deal. No, I, I think I got a record. <laughs> I think I got a record DUI uh, on the way home. No, I walked, thank God. That's the good news. That see, that's the problem with this bar is there's no there's no limitations. You know, like I I I don't even have to stay drunk enough or sober enough to make it home in an Uber without throwing up. It's just uh, straight walking. Although, oh, just, and then uh, a topper got home and uh, texted my wife from the couch. So I was sleeping on the couch. It's so fucked up. I was like, pretty sure I got roofied. Because, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you know, <laughs> and I believed it at the time. <laughs> I was like, "There's no way I could be this drunk. This is too, this is too drunk." <laughs> well, what if you had like, to drink today, Brian? Brian, <laughs> Brian tells entire me to bottle like three times a week. Like, happen again. I, I have some evil spirit chasing me around, driving to roofie to my drinks. Well, that was like Crazy. that chick. That chick that we, uh, I think, I think even Odie knows her from back in the day. That chick Roz, who was like, "I got roofied," and caused this major thing. You know, she's like Mark's ex girlfriend. Yeah, she insisted yeah. she got roofied at the the old Sports Harbor, which did not happen, by the way. But created this whole ordeal where he was like, "They're just not going to do anything about it." I'm like, she didn't get fucking roofied, man. She just was drunk off her goddamn ass, and everybody saw it. She didn't get fucking roofied. Ah, uh, ridiculous. What were they? What would they do theoretically? I, I yeah. What I don't Watch know. Watch a full scale sports harbor investigation, Detective yeah. George. <laughs> we'll review Question the case. Everyone who was there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what were you? This is our, my impression of our big buddy George. Hey, what were you on the night of December sixth? <laughs> I wasn't me. I wasn't okay. here either. I was at the puzzle zoo. <laughs> He's Yogi Bear. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. He now is a bouncer at uh, a really fancy place. He's he's like a bouncer at like one of the fancier restaurants in Hollywood, which is hilarious. For him. Uh, in the world. Man, we're, welcome back again, Mr. DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> I guess restaurants uh, need bouncers in uh, in LA. <laughs> Thanks to got a hand at a restaurant. You don't think of that I, typically with a restaurant, dude. Uh, it's more it's more to keep the insane homeless people, the the diarrhea <laughs> and knife wielding homeless people out of the restaurant. You don't want your yeah. you don't want Tom Hanks being served a bowl of homeless diarrhea stew in the middle of his meal. Though I I would enjoy it. Frankly, I think Tom Hanks is a dick now. He used to love him. Now I think he's an ass. <laughs> like everybody's me, an ass now. I serve Tom True. Hanks this bowl of soup. One minute. <laughs> do, you re- do you remember when Tom Hanks, like early in COVID, and Tom Hanks and his wife were in Australia yes. and they got COVID, and yeah. everyone's like, "Oh my God, Tom Hanks is going to die from COVID." It's fine. Like, yeah. But Mild then cold. proceed to panic after that the whole world. After that, that was the I, mark of COVID. Yeah. That was like the beginning of it. If only I knew to short all my stocks at that exact moment, I wouldn't be talking mm-hmm. to you people right now. <laughs> yep. Alas. Well, we can only hope that that happens soon. Well, we Rico, might. you'll have plenty of opportunity to uh, to ignore me at the Rose Bowl. And I, did we tell you we're going? Oh, it'll be already? impossible. It'll be impossible. I figured you were going. That's true. And, and what's it will this be. I will be loud and obnoxious. It's going to be it's cloudy not, and not warm. It's, what the yeah, fuck? I... I actually, I don't mind a cloudy football day. I prefer it cloudy as long as it's not raining. Because it's like, today it rained. It's supposed to rain on Saturday. Let me see what the weather is looking like. It's like uh, yeah. rain, rain in California? It's going to be, it's going to, wow, it's going to rain all all week next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Rain, 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 rain. And Monday. Rain that's that you know. damn global warming, making it rain in the desert. God. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Tuesday. Seventy percent chance of rain, Rico. So, well, it's not on Monday, isn't it? Or oh yeah, the game is. Oh yeah, I, I did my math wrong. Yeah, Monday. Well, it's supposed to forty percent chance of rain Monday. So, bring your poncho. Yep, I got the old in and out day. Hopefully, the plane's on time. Not like I'm not flying Southwest, so that will. Oh, that's good. At least help. you're that flying is, in and yeah. out the same yeah. day. Yeah, he's a psychopath. Yep. Well, that's freaking a lot of from. 
I mean, I land at 940, supposedly. And usually that plane, if it takes off on time, it lands 20 minutes early. Let's say I land at 920. What do I need to go out there the night before for? <gasps> to have fun? To be hung over? Yeah. Well, I, I if I didn't have a kid that I would have to take care of, then that would be possible. But not possible. Kid, so, you, yeah, you just, so, again, you know, if if the child, it, we used to put children in airplanes alone all the time. Can't you just put them on it? You say, Mom, drive Jordan to the airport. I'll pick him up, uh, you know, have some some friend pick him up at home. Wait, this is all too late now. But. Wait. Who, who Isn't it like a uh, 6 p.m. game or something? Or so, I guess that's, that's 2 p.m. Yeah. So it's so it's three. It's two, two, okay, it's that's plenty two of time. Two o'clock. Yeah. It should be fine. He, I mean, he should have plenty of time to get in. You know, pick him up. We'll, yeah, we'll just drive straight to the stadium, probably. Well, that, that, uh, yeah, you even I taking like a. I still have to buy You've been taking a bag pass. with you, Rico? Or are you just you just going with nothing? Um, you just go with your wallet. Well, That's, that would I be. I need something to do on the plane, so I I guess I'll have to take an iPad. But uh, I, I mean, is there a train that goes into Pasadena? Because remember last time we drove around Pasadena for like an hour and a half. We kept getting oh, caught hard. in. Oh, you can't turn this way. You can't turn this way. And so we missed like the whole tailgate because we just kept driving around trying to find out how to get to where we were going. So I don't. Was a I nightmare. hope we don't have to. If there's a I don't think we went as early there. though. I think we went late because we intentionally wanted to go like after the Rose Bowl parade. But that's the thing. There's no real. Let me see. Train to pass. Well, you know what? I'll figure it out after the show. We don't need to do this on the yeah. <laughs> What is this? Well, I mean, an episode we... of boring, the Boring Podcast on trains? <laughs> well, it should be. That was our best episode yet. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, let's get into some picks here. Unless uh, you guys have any good holiday stories to share, otherwise, well, I could bitch about my travel. It took uh, four sure. days to get to Florida because I kept what? having flights canceled. I think I kept having flights canceled, and then so we were supposed to leave the the twenty third. So I guess it took three days. The twenty third we're supposed to leave. Twenty second late, I get a flight cancellation. I'm like, oh fucking hell! It was like eleven p.m. Uh, you know, for a flight the next day, they're like, oh, it's canceled because oh, the, the storm was terrible. So then yeah, in my genius move, I'm like, there, I tried to find anything else. And there was nothing except out of Pittsburgh, there was a uh, spirit flight. And I booked it. And oh, then, God. Like, I immediately, I immediately regretted it. Um, and I'm like, this is insane. Like, I'd have to drive. Are you even to allowed Pittsburgh. to bring like a bag with you on a spirit flight? You have to pay like a you can bring, $200 like, to you have can a bag? bring a little backpack. Uh, but I don't really pack anything anyways. But so, th- you know, the next day I'm like, I can't be fucking driving to Pittsburgh. It's literally negative 20. There's 60 mile an hour winds. I like, what if I get stuck on the highway? I mean, that that's literally like. Dude, people died in. 50 people died over like the past week. Uh, like some of them died in their cars. They froze to death in their cars because they got stuck. Yeah, well, that was like, in Buffalo. See... That's because. Yeah. That's because they got see that like shit? three feet of snow and. Um, negative twenty. It was ridiculous. But, but like, you see, hold on. Like, do you see this video though of this, of these fucking houses covered in ice in Buffalo? I saw yeah. something. I think that was up in Canada on the Canada side of. Uh, Let me Erie. hang on. I want yeah. I want you to finish your story, but just uh, just to show you this real quick. This is oh, this is this is in Erie, Pennsylvania too, up in uh, Odie's neck of the woods. Look at this fucking shit. Holy Look at that. It's shit. not. It's way above my neck of the woods. Wow. I mean, it is. It is. Uh, it, I've never seen anything like it. The Arctic. It's it's literally the entire houses are covered in a foot of ice and snow. I've that never seen anything insane. like it in my life. And Buffalo is similar. Fucking yeah, bonkers, so man. I was thinking like, there's no way I'm driving to Pittsburgh. It's super dangerous. Even like, I probably you know 99 uh times out of 100, you're gonna I could get there okay, but you don't know if like a semi is gonna jackknife on the the turnpike right. and shut it down for five hours. It's just stupid. And then if or I get to Pittsburgh, into you. Yeah. Or if I get That's... to Pittsburgh, who's to say the plane's not going to be canceled because 80% of the planes were canceled. Like, this is yeah. stupid. I called spirit like four hours later and said, look, there's winter advisor saying life threatening winds and, and everything. And it, it's like, I can't get there. And they're like, nope, we can't camp. I'm like, you guys are fucking assholes. What? Within so 24 they, hours, you're always allowed to cancel. But they, but not if you're with, apparently on Spirit, not if you're within a week of departure. And I bought it like the day before, like the night before, and I tried to cancel. And they're just fucking assholes. 
Yeah. How many times do they cancel um, planes oh, because yeah. of weather mm-hmm. without giving yeah. you? They don't give you shit, you know. So they're like, yeah, no, we're nothing we can do. Like, yeah, what? I hate that. Nothing we can do. Of course, there's something you can, if you wanted to, you could just yeah, reverse. You the could car. refund my money. Like, it's yeah. a physical impossibility. <laughs> well, there's, you know, it's fucking not. You're there's nothing. Happy. There's nothing the person you're talking to can do. So put me on the phone yeah. with someone who can do right. something. Yeah, yeah, give me your I manager. I'm like, give me a, give me a supervisor, and they're like, okay, wait for a supervisor. I'm like, no, it's our policy. You can't, you can't do anything. Like, you guys, are fucking ass. So I challenge. I want to talk to the right? CEO of Spirit Airlines right now, dude. No, you, there okay. used to be a service called Consumerist, and they would post the direct lines to the CEO's office or to the executive <laughs> really? call. No, oh no, yeah, I, I used to do this all the time with Bank of America. I had, I got hit with like. Six hundred dollars in overdraft fees one time with Bank of America, just because in the way it used to set up, it would just like keep going. It'd be like fifty cents, and it would just be like Bing, 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 Bing. You know, so I called them up, and I was dealing with bullshit. I called the executive line, and they were like, "Done, we'll take care of it." And it was awesome, yeah. but now I don't know. They don't post them anymore because nobody has fucking so, call centers anymore that work. Yeah, yeah. So I, I disputed with my credit card. I know that's not going to be successful because I am like technically I. I don't have any recourse with their with their policies under their cancellation. So they're, I, it's not going to work. So I'm thinking, like, I'll just file an arbitration and nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to be a pain in the ass and make them keep responding. I'm going to request like discovery it. about how many planes yep. they cancel <laughs> because of weather. It's be a complete I trick. love it. I love it, dude. So, That's awesome. <laughs> we'll see how that works. We'll just Rico awesome. will get a million it. dollar settlement doing. from Spirit Airlines just to <laughs> shut him up. Gonna, dude, I, that's, that's like my strategy. A plane after me. <laughs> I want to see your your face on the fin like they do with like Eskimos and shit. Alaska Airlines, yeah, they have. <laughs> you're you're flying. Frontiers. You're flying a Rico flight. It's, <laughs> it's the one they put instead on the of, plane most likely to crash. Instead of water, everyone gets a bush light. <laughs> By the way, I love that. That is my goal. Like T-Mobile, you guys know I have a vendetta against T-Mobile. Um, for the bullshit promo I never got my fucking free AirPods. And my goal is like, these cunts are never going to give me the fucking AirPods. I, now I, I'm, I'm comfortable with that, but my goal now is solely to cost them money. And like, if I, if I yeah. succeed in costing them more than the price of the AirPods, which are $260 just from bitching and tagging on Twitter, if I can make one person not sign up for fucking T-Mobile, I have won. And that was my goal, yeah. and I continue to do it to this day. You've like, probably already done it. Shit. I mean, I, I'm yeah. sure I have. I'm sure I have. I'm like, good. You fucking cunts. Get you know what? Be smart. Just give me the fucking AirPods, and I will have gone away. And now, forever, I will try to cost you money. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Or well, are you still with well, T-Mobile? I'm... Yes, because I'm. I'm. I have a, a Sprint merged with them, and I have a sweetheart, eighty a month unlimited data. You know, with minutes and all this other shit. Phone plans. So I'm not going to leave it. Yeah, well, after I'm successful in my arbitration suit against Spirit, I'll uh, move on over to T-Mobile. Yeah. I'm just going to take on the big guns. It's going to be my new area of expertise. <laughs> I love it. So, so then the it. next day, my flight got canceled on United. Um, mm. And then the next day, my flight got canceled again, which was Christmas morning. And so we had to fly standby on Christmas. Uh, we were in the airport for like four and a, four hours. That sucks. So that was fun. Mm. Got to watch the Packers game though, so and, and watch two with throw like three just oh, god yeah. awful interceptions awful. in a row. Awful. And then it came out that oh yeah, he suffered another concussion during the game. It's like yeah. <laughs> well, Those Dolphins job, really are. <laughs> didn't they fire all their other doctors that didn't uh, diagnose Did concussions? Hear? I was just listening to something today. Did you hear how they found out he had a concussion? Like Mike McDaniel's was doing film study, and he noticed like two. It took a really bad shot to the head. He's like, wait a minute. So I think all those terrible second half interceptions, he's probably concussed. Damn, he was like, where, where is he throwing the ball? It made yeah. no sense. Well, he yeah. cost me money. Thanks, Tua, with your fucking stupid brain that can't seem to take any well, hits. <laughs> the thing is, he could be so stupid that it's hard to tell if he's concussed or just oh, himself. Yeah. Just um, no, Odie. Odie, <laughs> it's Christmas time. That's racist, Odie. <laughs> <laughs> racist? Don't what? Racist I guess, about I guess, that? Uh, what are we taking? Are we saying that all uh, Samoans are stupid? The Rock's not. 
The Rock is on steroids, though, but he is not too lot Very smart. Of course he is. Yeah. But yeah, that game fucking pissed me off. Uh, lost me money. The Eagles pissed me off. You know what? I, I no more games on Christmas Eve or Christmas. They, you know, when your team blows a game they should easily have won with four bullshit turnovers, ruins your Christmas Eve. I was so mad, so drunk, mad so angry. Now. Dude, it pissed. I wanted them to clinch. I hate the Cowboys, and I also bet money on the game, and it looked like a sure thing. The Eagles are up, so you know, and then Sanders they fumbled. <sighs> like, what? like okay, and Boston well, Scott, both of them. Like, just uh, you're down three. The line, of, you're plus four. You got the ball with a minute and a half left. Yep. Eh, whatever. Oh, or, or you can fumble on the fifteen. Like, okay, yeah. well, that ruined that. Yep, and then also like throwing it, you know, like the the two interceptions were fucking bullshit too. Fucking Watkins, the receiver, the one, the ball's right there for him, and uh, blatant pass interference. By the way, the Cowboy player is literally draped over his back to catch the ball and rip it away from him. No flag is called, and then the other one, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Again, like two fluke interceptions. It's like what the fuck is going on in this goddamn game? It's like the the Oregon game last night. I bet on lost i'm on a horrible losing streak i've lost like last six games in a row but the fucking flukiest shit they're going down they're driving down the field they throw like the 30 yard line or the 20 yard line to end the half where you think it's 14 14 they're gonna go up seven points to end this half and then they get the ball back great they need to win by 14 what happens a ball is thrown behind a receiver he hits it with his hand the ball goes off of his foot off of another defender, and then the guy catches it six inches from the ground and runs it back 40 fucking yards, and North Carolina gets a touchdown with 30 seconds left in the half. You're like, fuck this! Fuck it's like it the all. Immaculate Reception. It's like Dude. the Immaculate Reception. Oh, Which brutal. it was the 50th anniversary of this, uh, this past week. And the Steelers yeah. won. And it killed Franco. Franco died, unfortunately. Killed Franco. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. too bad. I heard John Ziegler Bad talking news. about uh, Franco with his high pitched, a uh, super annoying voice. He listened to his podcast uh, yesterday. He's like, I, yeah, I, I honestly like, like Franco. I, 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 yeah. I like Ziegler. I, I like his podcast. He's uh, like he's it. entertaining. I don't. Ag- I mean, there's a lot of stuff I don't agree with him on, but he's an entertaining guy to listen to. The one I, the one he did yesterday, I agreed with him on most of the stuff. He was talking again a little bit about, about Penn State, but he's talking about how you know, like COVID and the media just being completely fucking ridiculous and uh, and all that kind of shit. So I agree with him on most of that, but God, his voice is so annoying. It's just so high the way he talks. He's like he's like so anyway. I was I talked to uh, James Franco, <laughs> not James Franco, he can't, to make he it can't in uh, Mike, Mike. So Mike McQuarrie, uh, he's looking in the mirror. Like oh, I can't I can't listen to this. It's like a you know, a hint of Jewish Bernie Sanders there mixed yeah. in with John Ziegler or something. Oh, my God. He can't um, say anything directly. He's like, well, you know, what color is the sky? He's like, well, the thing about the sky is yeah. there's these bushes, <laughs> and, and these bushes are from Tanzania. And, and, and he just goes off on tangents. He does love analogies. And, yeah, it does. and you're like, what the fuck are we talking about at this point in time? And, and the key thing <laughs> is, everything's the key thing. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> by the way, I'll tell you another so, quick thing uh, that happened. I, I'm going to bring this up on the boring podcast too, probably because I'm just going to see if Don wants to do it. But um, just one funny thing. So we went over to our friend, uh, my friend Ryan's house for uh, for Hanukkah, uh, like a Hanukkah thing for the kids. And it was just so funny because the three kids, the toddlers, are sitting at this like you know like the center table thing in the kitchen. People have like a countertop center center place. Island, they call them. And the three kids are sitting there, and Stacy, uh, his wife, is lighting the menorah. And she's having a hell of a time doing it, right? She's like trying to light the candles for like five minutes, and it just won't fucking she light. Can't reach it. It's too tall. And she's like she's desperate. She's like ee, ee, she's jumping <laughs> up and down. She's like four feet tall. Ee. The ladder. Yeah. <laughs> so she finally, after like five minutes, gets all whatever six candles lit, and the second she takes the the lighter away, Logan just goes. Blows all the menorah candles <laughs> out. Because that's, <great. laughs> that's what little kids do. They think, yeah, they think it's like a birthday candle. Uh, so I laughed so fucking hard, I was crying. <sighs> anyway, <That's funny. laughs> good shit. All right, let's well, do good some news. Picks. Good news for DG. I am now in first place. So that's I, I, fantastic. I'm not. 
I am not Rico is doing something. You haven't picked a hundred dollars worth of games yet, and maybe now. Well, I, your whole season well, I is illegitimate. If I go back, look, maybe you've been doing that the whole time. Ooh, has no, he? No, it's because you didn't put a, you didn't put down NFL games yet. And I'm gonna no, put true, I'm gonna I make an NFL pick. Yeah, I just I I just pulled from the uh, from the uh, Vegas lines before the pod. Yeah. So All I'll right, look let's at get the through it. I got to go work out, and I'm going to go get a, a delicious burger and a beer at Hanano. Mm. Remember Hanano? Delicious. Yes, I do. Right by the beach. That's right. I'm going to go meet me a buddy down there, have a burger after I work out. Well, good for you. Sounds like you got a lot to do. You've been working hard. You yeah. deserve it, Brian. I do deserve it, man. It's fucking, I got this goddamn demon baby today. that lives with me. She's going to daycare next week. Fucking can't wait. Punch her through the fucking door. Horrible child. Okay, Never. She times. just doesn't. Pawn your problems anymore. off on someone else. There you Dude, go. Kid doesn't sleep. I don't want her home anymore. Get her. Get lost. All right. I'll, I'll go. I don't have my. Uh, oh, there's my son. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm. Finishing I'll read. Up the I'll podcast. read your picks to you, Rico. Ready? Well, Here's I, I kind of so remember them. I got Iowa, oh, okay. or I'm betting against Iowa. Whoever. Yeah, you're playing. taking Kentucky um, plus two and a half. Because I can't believe Iowa's favor. Their offense is a joke. Um, yeah, I'm taking. Is, Kentu- LSU, is anybody playing? Will Levis isn't playing, is he? For Kentucky. That's always the concern. <laughs> Even if they don't have anyone playing, they're still better than uh, Iowa. Took LSU minus fourteen and a half against Purdue. Purdue doesn't have a coach. I don't think their quarterback is playing for some reason, which didn't make a whole lot of sense really? to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, he's preparing for the NFL. He's, like, 5'10". Like, mm, well, his brother his brother than... died recently, I'm pretty sure. So that could oh. be the reason well, why. Then I shouldn't make fun. Um, but anyways, he's he's not playing, so I don't think that helps. Then uh, taking Utah, because Penn State doesn't ever win when I go to the game. Um, True. Uh, Ohio State, plus six, or, yeah, plus six and a half. They're going to win, just to spite me. And it's going to make my life miserable. So that's why they're going to cover and win. I'm going to take TCU plus, I think, seven and a half. Because uh, Michigan will choke. And then I think I had one other game, but I forget. You had Utah. My, I know. You have a uh, – no, that was – Obama minus six and a half, which I agree with. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know why. I, I think most of the people for Bama are playing. They're definitely six and a half points better than Kansas State, please. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter if they're not playing. They're still Alabama. Yeah, right. yeah the Their depth third on Alabama. Is better than anything that right. Kansas State has. Yeah, that seems exactly. like it's too obvious of a pick. Dude, that, was, that was my rationale when I bet on Oregon yesterday. Because they, they both teams had like both quarterbacks play, but they both had like players that were that weren't playing because they're going to the NFL. And I'm like, well, Oregon's gotta have way more depth than fucking North Carolina does, but yeah. Yes, Did you hear about the Oregon player who was granted an eighth year of eligibility next year, and he's also granted a ninth year of eligibility if he wants what? it in two years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How? It's like a tight end because he missed he's, like he's most blown of the out like season. both knees like three times. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. You ought to Crazy. get keep, get back out there, guy. I'm sure somebody's going to draft a tight end with <laughs> knees that, that are made of tissue paper and dandelions. That's Thirty years old. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the uh, life. What is necessary roughness to filming? Because I uh, he's got a role. Exactly. All right, I'll go next. Uh, Oregon, I already lost twenty bucks on. Always fun to lose your first bet. Bama minus six and a half. I'm going forty dollars on that. Again, I don't. There's no fucking way Kansas State's winning that game. Um, Ohio State plus six and a half over Georgia. I just think OSU will beat them. Eagles minus five over New Orleans. The Eagles can clinch this game. It's not only that they can clinch, but also they have the Saints first round pick next year. So it's very important they beat New Orleans. And I think the Saints don't have anything to play for. So they're not going to come out, you know, firing on all cylinders. They're going to suck. That's an interesting angle. You can actually help your draft pick by beating a team. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So the Eagles are going to come out and they're not going to fuck around. They're going to put the Saints into the ground. Um, I don't think Hertz is going to play. He might, but I don't think he will. Falcons over the Cardinals. Again, the Falcons are a team that has, you know, Ritter's out there. He could do okay, but Alagir, Alagair, whatever, he's playing for a starting gig. He's running hard. The Cardinals are giving up hope. They have Trace McSorley, I believe, starting again. Penn State's own. Oh, God, is he bad. 
Yeah, twenty dollars. <laughs> I should short. bet more. I should bet more than twenty dollars. But twenty dollars on the Falcons. Lions under fifty two against the Bears. Twenty dollars. I know they both put up points, but fuck Justin Fields. Uh, Rams plus six and a half over the Chargers. Baker Mayfield, what a career! Do you know that Baker Mayfield has the highest quarterback completion percentage for the Rams franchise now in history? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more than three games are required, but <laughs> no, it's not. I it, apparently it is not more than three Better games. Than it's something, I mean, it's something like you know you have to play a certain number of of snaps or whatever, and he's uh, he's achieved it. Because last game he was twenty four for twenty eight. Hey, come here. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll bet on I'll bet on the Rams plus six and a half. They've been playing well. The Chargers win, but I think the Rams cover. And then I'm parlaying all my non Oregon games for fourteen dollars. So clearly, this is where I make my leap. That will be a nice eight hundred dollar win, and I will be in first place. Hmm. Okay. Not likely. Good for you. All right. Uh, UCLA happen. minus five and a half against Pitt. Pitt sucks. South Carolina, plus two and a half Notre Dame. I don't know anything about this game other than <laughs> yeah, South Carolina same. finished, good, finished good reason about it. strong. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know who's sitting out is what I mean. But uh, eh, I hate Notre Dame. Clemson, minus five and a half Tennessee. Tennessee has players quitting on the team. Um, Iowa, minus two and a half Kentucky. See, I'm kind of the opposite with this. If, if, I would, if Kentucky doesn't have Will Levis, who is their backup quarterback? Some... Probably terrible quarterback. So I think that's an Somebody easy Iowa win. <laughs> Probably Sean Clifford next year. It's going to take. It over. might be. He <laughs> might transfer there. Get his Daddy tenth man. year eligibility. But I was just always Iowa, and they're going to play defense, and they're going to annoy people. Alabama, same reasons. Minus six and a half. K State. Michigan minus seven and a half. TCU. <laughs> I think Michigan blows out TCU. And Georgia minus six and a half. Ohio State. I think I think Georgia blows out Ohio State, and Ohio State's going to be calling for Ryan Day's head. It's going to be glorious. I can't wait. Oh, they are. That would are. be nice. So most people already are that I hear. They they want to fire. That's which crazy. Is hilarious. He's lost like That's three insane. games. Yeah. But, it's insane. By the way, uh, can we celebrate our new addition for Penn State through the transfer portal of Storm Duck? Oh yeah, what a name. Like. Storm Duck. By the way, it reminds me of Rico. Remember, there was an episode of American Dad where Roger was trying to find a bottle of wine called Rain Duck? Similar. Oh, yeah. Probably named you know, after he should be able. He should be able to have his name on his jersey. He's the only one. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a full, full name, though. It's got to be full name. Full Storm name Duck. Full name Storm only. Duck. <laughs> Storm Duck. Love it. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. I got shit to do. Later. Me too. Uh, See ya. Odie, Odie, post this one, and then uh, we'll do meme wars tomorrow, and I'll put them both up on the uh, the Friday feed. All right. The only monster here is the gambling monster that has enslaved your mother. I call him Gamblor, and it's time to snatch your mother from his neon claws. <laughs>